This week, I've been covering the important ideas of analytic geometry, ideas that will be necessary for the course. This last video is about shifts, how to move things around in the Cartesian plane. Like everything about analytic geometry is about the interplay between the algebra and the geometry. The basic idea is one of balance. If a constant is added to or subtracted from the variable of the equation, the geometry has to shift in the opposite way to balance that out. I think of this in terms of replacements. If in the equation of a locus I replace x by x minus a, then I've subtracted a in the equation. To balance this, I need to move in the positive x direction. Therefore, the locus is shifted by a units in the positive x direction. Likewise, if I replace x by x plus a, I've added, to balance this out, I need to move in the negative x direction. The locus shifts by a units in the negative x direction. The same is true with the other variable. If I replace y with y minus a in the equation, I shift the locus a units up, that is in the positive y direction, and if I replace y with y plus a in the equation, I shift the locus a units down, that is, in the negative y direction. This is easier to understand with a good picture. I'll explain the algebra, but let me show you the geometry. The equation of the unit circle, centered at the origin, is x squared plus y squared equals 1. In this diagram, I've done four different replacements of both variables. If I replace x plus by x plus 3 and y by y minus 3, then to balance, I move three units in the negative x direction, left, and three units in the positive y direction, up. If I replace x by x plus 4 and y by y plus 6, then to balance, I move four units in the negative x direction left and six units in the negative y direction down. If I replace x by x minus 1 and y by y minus 2, then to balance, I move one unit in the positive x direction right and two units in the positive y direction up. Finally, if I replace x by x minus 5 and y by y minus 2, then to balance, I move 5 units in the positive x direction right and 2 units in the negative y direction down. In this way, I can shift any locus, not just a circle, any line, any conic, the graph of a function, anything else. The key thing is to, re to remember is this idea of balance, which produces a counterintuitive effect Subtracting from a variable shifts to the positive and adding to a variable shifts to the negative.